I don't know, spent maybe two, five minutes max on my makeup, and I have like another three minutes to go because I'm really lazy and I like things done really fast. So um, my next step would be to draw on my eyeliner and my eyebrows. And I tried to draw you guys a picture of what eyeliner should look like and then some common problems that happen with eyeliner. So the, you see the line here was really skinny and it goes all the way along her top lash, um, which doesn't really make a lot of sense. And then it kind of flicks out in a weird little curly cue thing. A lot of people this, think this is like what a wingtip eyeliner is, but it's not really. It's actually way, way closer to this. And this looks way better when it comes to like actual calls. You want to beat this one and not this one. Um, and then this, this, uh, the eyeshadow over here is also like really far up on her crease and it doesn't come out to the corner far enough and there's no definition. So it's literally like an all over shadow color. Um, that also doesn't work and it doesn't really enhance an awful lot and it definitely doesn't look like you're older than six. So you probably want to start like contouring it properly or just making sure that the shape is closer to what your eye actually is. Um, going back to this shape of eyeliner. I'm going to show you how to do it. It's basically like the same shape as your eyeshadow is, just the eyeliner inside is a little bit smaller. Um, for eyeliners, you can get them in like these, like three different ways. You get them in felt tips, which is kind of like the cheap, like Annabelle or Revlon Forever does a version at the drugstore. They don't work super well and they're really hard to get the right shape with, at least for me because I'm not good at art at all. Um, so I avoid them, although I used to use them when I was like way younger and that's all I could afford. And then I switch to um, pens, which is what I'm going to use today. They're a lot better. You can also get Makeup Forever has like a um, black one with like long skinny bristles. It's really, really good if you're doing like, like those other two makeups that I showed you that I mean, they work really well for day-to-day -day stuff, but in an actual, like, escorting situation, it just doesn't look quite right, at least to me, and I don't, I won't do it like that. Um, but it works really well for that skinny little tip. Mm, but today we're not doing a skinny little tip, so. Um, yeah, so the one that I found that I like, well, then I moved into gels. Gels are really good for that thick tip. Move that much, so long as your primer is good, as long as you're using the Urban Decay one or something similar. But um, I found that my brush was getting really dirty and I'm really lazy so when I throw it back into my bag I don't really want to have to clean it every time. And then um, so I, I, I was using them but I was kind of annoyed because all my stuff ended up covered in black because I always do black, black, black. Um, then Jess showed me this um, Lorac one and it's amazing. It's called Proline and it is so, so good. The um, liquid itself is really, really liquid and it's kept in here and then it all kind of comes out through this little... Uh, pen tip, but it's not a felt tip. It's a brush tip. Um, it looks like that. Like it's not, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's not felt. It's like bristles. Um, so yeah, I like this one and it's really permanent and the next day I still have to scrub to get it off, which means that um, I'm doing a really good job of not losing my makeup through the course of a night or like with a client or washing my face after a facial or, you know, stuff that happens in uh, specifically my favorite parts of our job. So I take my little pen, I'm going to move as close as I possibly can just to be able to do it for you guys. I take my little pen and then I start on the outer third of my eye and I just kind of draw a guideline up and it gets thicker as it goes out and it's just along the top part of my eye. So I've drawn like the top half of that triangle shape. And then, I don't know if you guys can see, but it doesn't quite connect at the bottom. So I go to the corner of my eye, and I flick it up, and I make them match. So in doing that, I've created that triangle image that we were looking at here. So I drew my top line first, and then the top line doesn't quite cover the whole thing. So I go in, and I just do a bottom line. And I'll show you one more time really quickly. And then we'll move on to eyelashes and all that kind of fun stuff. Um, so start in the outer third. You don't want to be too far in because that starts to look kind of funny. And then you draw a top line. So it's just the top. And then I go to the bottom. And I connect it all. So now I've got these two sort of triangles that are the corner of my eye that 
look like really good makeup, but they're literally just triangles that I drew on my face. Um, and then the second last thing I would do is my eyebrows. I'm really specific about eyebrows. I think they really matter, and I think they kind of change the face of the shape of your face. So I'm really picky. Um, step one is do a really good good job tweezing. Get anything over top. Get anything over underneath. Get anything. I get like random hairs over here too. So get all that stuff off your face. Um, and then you can fill in your eyebrows using either a brow pencil or a brow powder. I like days longer, <laughs> so I have to do it less often. And um, it looks more realistic because like with a pencil, you're kind of like trying to make little lines to look like hair, whereas the powder doesn't really need to do that. Um, I like Smashbox's powder because they make an auburn one, and I use a lot of it. It comes with a wax that I don't really use unless I'm doing like costume makeup. Um, but it's basically like an eyeshadow powder, but it's a little bit thicker. So I take an eyeshadow brush, or sorry, an eyebrow brush, which has got like this angle, right? And it's really thin. Um, I take a lot of my really thick sort of powder, and then I always start with the outer corner of my eyebrow. So I go from here along the top of the brow, out, and because I know that my eyebrow should end where my where my pencil sort of is, the corner of my eye, I draw my line all the way out to there. Um, with the full knowledge that even though I have primer on, it will fade a little bit so it won't look quite as like crazy and long. Um, I always leave the house looking like a clown with these massive eyebrows. But by the time I get to work, it's all kind of calmed down. So I do that in my outer corner and it looks like that. Um, let me show you, oh sorry, it looks like that. You can see that it's much darker. Let me show you on this corner too. So I go from the top and then down. I draw my line out as far as it needs to go, which um, is kind of like that, nice and far. And then uh, my eyebrows aren't quite the same color as my hair. They're darker, kind of like, I don't know, any other redhead. So I just take more of my powder and I fill in my brow and I draw a line across the top to begin with because I want my eyebrows to be as high up on my face as possible. I have like these really low kind of Neanderthal style brows and I like them to be up high so I draw them along the top and then I just fill in really carefully and really quickly small little strokes everything underneath. Um, without your brows filled in your face kind of looks empty or at least mine does and I think they're really really key to having it look professional. So I make a straight line for my eyebrows from here to here. That's where my brows should start, and they do. And then from here to here, the corner of my eye to my nose is where my arch should be. And my arch is a little bit short of that, but I, in like the ideal world, that's where it would be. And then over here, it's close enough, but in an ideal world, it'd be at exactly that spot. And then when I draw this way, that's the end. So here to here. Over right there, and then there, there. The the cross in the middle of your eye is a cross where your iris is when you look directly at them. So it's kind of hard to show you in front of a camera where I have like a mirror and other stuff going on at the same time. But um, yeah. So I just blend all my brows in, and now I've created like this much stronger brow on my face, in combination with these long sort of triangles. Um, then I would do a coat of mascara, which I won't bore you with me doing. I really like L'Oreal Voluminous. Um, it's the best one that i found so far for my eyes. The waterproof sticks and isn't that good, but um, the not waterproof formula is really good. Um, the ones that I don't really like are Great Lash. I find that it's too thin, and we're going to be doing like the bottom, so you're going to do like all the little pieces down here and the top, like a like, copious amount of mascara. I find that that ends up looking kind of, um, it's just not really right um, with this one because it's a lot thinner. The Voluminous is like a full, complete coating. Um, one that I do like is the um, Dior, Dior Show stuff. It's got like that nice, really thick brush to absolutely cover everything um, versus like the little Great Lash teeny tiny one. 
Um, but yeah, it doesn't really matter what you use, and there's really no best one, just so long as you find something that your eyes don't hate, like react to, and that doesn't smudge, you're good. So I'll be back with um, mascara on to show you guys all about fake eyelashes and how to apply them and how to look like even more of a hooker. <laughs>